got a fun one here for you today and this is how to display a player's name on the screen as part of a message it's a nice little personal touch i guess you could say and so to do this i just have a mutator zone in the scene and i have the base visible but not the zone and then i have a hud device in the scene and it just that's all pretty standard and then of course my verse device and then the HUD device is paired to my verse device and the mutator zone is too. So let's just take a look at the code, which is really pretty simple. At editable for our HUD device and our mutator zone. And this just begins my mutator agent enter subscribes to this function down here. This is probably the most important line of code. And I did a separate tutorial on what I call appending the localizes message. And I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want more information about it. But basically we recreate a variable of the message type. And then we can add additional variables in here if we want by putting parentheses and then specifying the variable name and what type it is. And then we have to specify the variable name within the context of our string. They call that interpolating a string. So you can add more than one in here if you want. So this is just the agent type and then we just pop it in here. So then when we come down to this function that we're going to call, so we go my mutator zone, agent enters events, subscribe to display agent name. It takes in the agent name and then we just go my HUD, referencing this device up here, set text to message one and then we do a parentheses here with our a reference to our agent up here. And what it's going to do, it's going to print out the name. We'll set the text and then we show the HUD. And that's all there is to it. This string is just a custom print string. It's not doing anything right now. And that's it. So it's pretty cool. So anyway, we'll just come in here and we'll compile the code and we'll push the changes. And this just will take a minute. So when I signed up for Island Fortnite Island Creator Program, I had to give them a name. And a lot of the names I wanted to use weren't available. So I just I just came up with OK Studios at the top of my head. So that's my agent's name that's going to pop up on the screen. So anyway, if we come into Fortnite uh, in the game, I'll start it and we'll see what happens. So here we are and there's the mutator zone and I'll walk over there. And then it's going to go OK Studios, how are you doing? And it just stays on there for a minute and then off we go. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time. Hey, this is just a quick follow-up. I realize that we could also set this up to cast it to a player type instead of an agent, and that's really easy to do. So all you have to do is in the code here, instead of specifying it as agent, we specify it as a player type, and then put player in here. And then down here on the call, we just go player cast to agent. So converting it, casting it from an agent to a player type. So then we can just use a player type instead of an agent type. And this might be better because then this would give you access then to the player's UI as well. So this is just another option. You probably, this would probably be a better way to do it. All players are agents, but not all agents are players. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, take care and have a great day.